Hello. Yes, I'm back. So there. Anyway, I did the spinner. And this time I got the C color cabana. Now, if you look at this and go cabana, yeah, you, you might think it looks a little familiar. C color along with W7 and Alter Ego do a lot of familiars and do a similar for it. So there it goes. Anyway, while I'm getting set up here, give you the news of the week or of the month. In some cases, news of the year. All right, here we go. I had one cotton picking there. brush set aside to do my eye primer. So what do I do? Hide it from myself. That is not my brightest move. Anyway, so we'll start here. Yes, I won the 2021 NaNoWriMo or National Novel Writing Month Challenge. 50,000 words in 30 days. Yay! And what do I get an $18 t-shirt that I have to pay for? Whee! <laughs> anyway, got my final grade in on the class that I just finished up. Cognitive Psychology and that one came out as a B plus. Do do do. I am art. M A R T. Art. Do do. Let's see. This is the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. Yes, I'm doing something besides white today. Just. get it smeared around and yeah I did all the other stuff earlier with the eye creams and the serums and even though it's snowing here like crazy <sighs> got sunscreen on I think I'm just trying to protect myself from lights from the Christmas tree. We got the Christmas tree put up yesterday and the grandkids came out of their rooms, put down their electronics. Ha <laughs> ha! That was doing. And spent a good hour humoring the old farts by decorating the tree with us while I filmed it since my daughter-in-law was not feeling well enough to get up the stairs. I got it filmed so she could see. Yeah, I've told, I've mentioned my daughter-in-law a few times. She's got a immunity issue that is, it's not MS, but it does have some of the same problems. Chews up the myelin sheath around the nerves and starts taking away your ability to do some things. And currently her legs are out. So, hopefully, 
she'll get enough relief from the medication they've got her on, which includes a variant of chemotherapy with, with immunoglobulin. I can never say that right. Anyway, we'll keep our fingers crossed that she can actually get up the stairs for Christmas Day. Because that would make it wonderful so she could be there for all the present opening under the tree. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm a great grandmother to 12 puppies. The kids were trying to get everything together so they could get either the girl dog or the boy dog fixed. We got to the point where we were just a few days off from getting the boy dog fixed and somebody let the dogs out together. Monday, my girl delivered 12 now, she was one of 16 puppies. We're glad she didn't go for her own mother's record, okay? <laughs> anyway, that's about how that's going. I have four classes left in my bachelor's program. It's, I still have no car. <laughs> we'll get that figured out as we go. Let's see, what else is going on? Well, yeah, we've got, got snow. So I'm not that unhappy about not having a car. Snow around here can get tricky. Yes, I'm just kind of dabbing it a little and working it over. I picked up a brush that's not really conducive to doing the circular waltz thing. Because I wasn't watching what I was doing. So, yeah, here you go. Been rearranging the office a little bit. Yet again. Now, technically, I wasn't supposed to be finished with this current class until Sunday this week. But I turned everything in early. So, she graded it early. Thank you, Professor Mudge. And... Southern New Hampshire University Penman, raw cheer. That's the one problem with being an online student. I have never been to the campus. And unless something drastically changes, by the time I get finished with the classes, I'm not going to be able to walk to get my diploma. Because it's a long way away. It really is, especially now. At least when I was in 
West Virginia and then Florida. It was just, you know, a trip up the East Coast. And now, instead of a few hundred miles, well, more than a few hundred, but still, from West Virginia, it wouldn't have been that long. From Florida, it would have taken a bit longer. From Oregon, not happening, Chief, unless I'm in an aeroplane. And that's expensive. And I'm not really big on flying. Plus, the nearest airport is in Boise, which is two and a half hours. Unless I want to go to the Portland airport, and then that's six hours. Of course, if somebody is running their little puddle jumper out of our municipal airport, I could get on an itty bitty teeny tiny plane to get to one of the airports quicker. Yeah, I don't see that happening either. No. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of colors am I going to use? Guys, what colors am I using? Somebody tell me some. Let's see. Maybe I'll put some purple in here just for the heck of it. See how it goes with that kind of a peachy color. So I've been having a lovely time. Even when I don't film, I'm using the spinner to give me an idea of what to work with so that I'm not just having this stuff sitting here doing nothing, you know? Because I like my palettes. I really do. And I want an excuse to use them. So I'm doing all of these things on the spinner. Even, like I said, even if I'm not filming, it gives me something to do. Oh, speaking of something to do, one of the things that I did, because I know some of you know that I did some, got some pigments and did some of my own eyeshadows and stuff. Well, both of the granddaughters are interested in makeup. So I handed them the packets of pigment and I said, start picking your colors. And I made three eyeshadows and a highlighter for each one of them from colors they picked. I was really very surprised with some of the colors that got picked because the younger one who's 15 yeah she'll be 16 next month oh my goodness. um the younger one who's 15 usually has this thing for purples and pinks she picked one pink and then a green and a blue I'm going, what happened here? <laughs> and then the older one, who was out, I was expecting to see blacks and reds. Now, she went with a slightly different blue and a purple. And, and another green, and I'm going, who are you people, and what have you done with my grandchildren? Anyway, their stuff came out really nifty looking. Now, with the 15-year-old, the green that she picked was really dark. It was called Evergreen. And the parental units were a little worried about depth of shading 
and stuff with this stuff. So all of her picks ended up with a bit more of the white pigment mixed in to uh, keep it toned down just a tad. Which she was pretty cool with. Which I'm glad because I didn't want to start a fight over this. You know how that works. You don't want to start a fight. It's not nice. I disappeared on you. I forgot to get my little <laughs> rag out before I got started. So I had to like do a disappear, reappear kind of thing. Yes, that's right. I used to have the little scrubby thing. Even made my own using a ponytail donut so that I could get the color off. And it's like, the dang things chewed up bristles too much. So it's like I went back to the old standby of a cleaning brag, you know, it's just take a little bit of brown here. That's the darkest shade I own. There's a brown. And I'm just going to tap that right here. I'm not going to go far in with this. I'm just going to tap is right along there. Kind of deepen up that edge just a tad. Yes, I'm using the same brush a lot. I'm trying to get myself over the idea that I need 100 million brushes to do a few things. Because I have yet again given into a terrible habit of deciding I need to have more brushes. It's an addiction, I'm telling you. This brush thing is an addiction. So now I've got more brushes when I already had more brushes. And it's like, uh, the only difference between the brushes that I had and these is these are green. And it's got face brushes and eye brushes and all manner of stuff. I was buying stuff, believe it or not, I was buying stuff from Shein. And this was cheap enough that it made relative sense to get these to get me to free shipping. The order was already that large. And this got me to free shipping. So, yeah found something out while I was looking at Shein. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not. I've heard it pronounced Shine and Shein like it's Shein. And I don't know. Anyway, while I was looking at 
their makeup line, since that seems to be a topic lately among the people who do a lot more of the drugstore level eye makeup and such. I started looking. I needed to have a look because for the most part, when I first noticed they were starting to do this, a lot of the stuff was stuff that I was seeing on AliExpress. A little shady. But then I discovered that some of the stuff that I was seeing that was on AliExpress was also inexpensive brands that are in stores like Poundland in, in Britain. That I've seen a few of the people from Britain that I follow that do a lot of stuff about being, you know, going shopping in Poundland. And they're showing me the same brands. And I'm going, okay, need to check this out a little more. Now, the reason I brought these people up is because while I'm going through this, now this is an inexpensive line, guys. A very inexpensive line. One of the most expensive things I've run into is their foundation, which is about nine bucks, but that's about level with Koki. So, but there's something that they've got going that I was absolutely surprised by and then thrilled by once I got over the shock. And I'm going, if they can do this, how come some of these others can't do this? This little bitty inexpensive makeup company For 37 cents, we'll send you a little sachet packet of the foundation so you can check your color. 37 cents. Little packet. Little thing. Just a little squeeze packet. Or as some people call it, a sachet. And, 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 there are some of the cotton picking expensive expensive companies that won't do that yeah if you go into some place like Sephora or something they'll squirt you a little bit in a little little tub but I'm talking about if you're buying online and not at a store Trying to get samples for some of these things is not easy. And I'm going, this is an inexpensive line and the samples are right there. I find that fascinating. I think it's wonderful. Wipe off your feral. Yes. If you're going to spray your brush, and please remember spray your brush, not the pan. If you're trying to avoid hard pan, not encourage it. If you're going to spray your brush, wipe off the excess fluid off the ferrule so that it doesn't get down in the ferrule and loosen up your bristles. Because the fluid can eat the glue that holds the bristles in. And if that happens and the bristles fall out, then you have a pretty stick. 
a pretty useless stick. So dry your brush. Dip a dry brush into your palette. Spray the pigment on the brush and spray away <laughs> from your palette. The last thing you want is to turn your lovely palette into nothing but spots of color that are hard pan. and wrecked your palette. You do not want to hard pan your palette because when you do, about the only way to really save it once you get hard pan all the way through is to re-grind the colors. Which means you need to take the color out of the pan, scrunch it up, remix it with a little bit of like vegetable glycerin or something. And then mix it up with alcohol so you can put it back in the pan and repress it. That's the only way to save it. And you know what? It doesn't always work. And you know what else? You can save yourself a lot of trouble by not hard panning your stuff. I mean, that you know what you're doing. You and me, did I say that? Who me, do I speak from experience? Why, yes I do. I do indeed know for wherefore I am speaking. I think that looks pretty good for a start. We'll see what else I do to it in a few minutes. But that looks kind of stiff. I think I like that. That's all of three colors. I think I can work with that. And then I'm going to start figuring out what I want to do next. And what I'm going to put where. Like under the eyes. All that stuff. What liner I'm going to do. And all that. Anyway. I want you to think about the fact that a little company like Shein with really inexpensive makeups not only have a really, really nice looking Zodiac line that they've come out with, which is one of the th reasons it's, they've been all up on, on a lot of the YouTube shows that I follow, but that they've got the sample thing. It's like, I really don't know that many other companies that are that inexpensive that not just will send you a sample if you but already have them there, and all you got to do is point and shoot and, and put it on your order. <sighs> I'm going, dang, nice. Anyway, I'm going to go slap some sort of, of foundational type thing on my hood. And again, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Well, for you, it's a little less than a couple of minutes. Hello. Yeah, I'm 
I'm pretty much finished. I've got some blush on and a little contour. Some liner here and there. Put my eyebrows in. Still need to put a lippy on. Got a little highlight here and there just for the heck of it. Let's see. Here, lippy, lippy, lippy. Let's see, what do I want to play with? This one might be fun. It's called Burnt Sugar. I think that actually goes kind of nice with the purple. It's got kind of a raisin tone to it. So, what are y'all making for Christmas? What are you making for your holiday table? We're having ham this time. We had turkey at Thanksgiving. So we'll have ham. New Year's might be beef, it depends. Um, but getting ready to start making the sweets. There must be sweets. There will be sugar cookies with cookie cutter cut out stuff so the kids can play with the colored icing and fill in shapes and whatever. And then there'll be snickerdoodles. And then there's going to be a chocolate coated toffee with nuts. And two types of pecan pie. One that's got the caro syrup, really sticky, gooey version. And one that's from 1914 that I picked up off of a YouTube channel called Tasting History and it's more of a custard. You make a custard with chopped pecans in it and then you float some more pecans on top and we tried it at Thanksgiving and oh my goodness it was delicious and it wasn't all that sticky gooey overly sweet stuff that you get with the caro syrup. So it was much easier for us diabetics to deal with a small slice and not be like half dead sick for the amount of sugar in the caro syrup version. And then I'm going to be making a baklava and Jim is going to try his hand at Italian nugget with the pistachios and such in it. Now, last year he did Turkish Delight. This year it's the Italian Nougat. So we will see how that goes. The Turkish Delight came out beautifully. It was good. And, you know, it's one of those things where it's a something for us that's a treat but we let the kids tear up a lot of it and then we put away a few pieces so that we can still have a few pieces between Christmas and New Year's and a little after New Year's it's like when I make the toffee I bust it up so that it's all kinds of different shapes and sizes that way, if I get one of them cravings, craving, I can go get a little tiny piece and get the craving out of my mouth for the flavor because it's enough. It makes it much easier to not make a fool out of myself and wreck my, my diabetes levels. 
it's like I've tried doing the thing of not eating it at all, and all it does is create a binge response. So, yeah, no, not the healthiest relationship with food. So, I have my little workarounds. I don't overindulge. I had to learn how to do that to take some of the weight off to start with. <sighs> I didn't get it all off in time to prevent crawling over to diabetes, but we'll see how that works from here out. Anyway, yes, blue mascara. Green pencil in the lower waterline. Blue eyeliner. Basic brown for the eyebrows. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to, to this bit here at this point. Got all my raspberry twist hair going on here. Just kind of laying around and being lazy. I didn't bother with getting the curling. Sorry. Well, maybe not so much. Anyway, this is it. And I believe I've hit you up with all the news. Let's see. Still no car. Got my grade. Four classes left. Herd of puppies. If I remember, I'll put a picture of the puppies all together. And let everybody see the itty babies. That's it. Happy holidays to anybody celebrating anything over the next couple, three weeks. Stay out of trouble. Keep your mask on distance. If you ain't got the shot, get on with it. They're saying the Omicron works really well with three. So your original two and the booster. We're not through yet. We'd be a lot further through if people would stop telling us that, that it's impacting their personal decisions and it's like guys we have been vaccinating people for decades since we figured out that there were vaccinations that would work get over yourselves you have to be vaccinated to go to school you go in the military you don't get a vote you line up and get stuck You know, this other stuff is just like total BS. I do not understand people just going nuts like that. Sorry about the camera jiggle. I got my shoe caught up in the wheel for the cart that it's on. Anyway, I dare you to be good.